Hi, we're back, and our first guest today is David Spencer. You've met him before. He's a wonderful, wonderful artist, and we're glad to have him back. Oh, Hi, David. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the opportunity to, am, to share. Yes, some I'm really of this glad work. for you coming because I remember your mm -hmm. art mm -hmm. and how unique it is, and how much I liked it. Mm -hmm. So tell us what's what's new in your in your career here. Um, well, I've been exhibiting at Sorensen since last April, and that's uh, at least uh, gotten it out of my uh, home studio, uh, out to the world. And uh, I, I had a real good beginning, I was telling you about, where the first time I exhibited, I sold, uh, sold about seven or eight pieces. <gasps> but uh, since then, it's been a little bit slower, but uh, oh. I still um, always get something out of talking about my pieces with the public and uh, meeting people. So, um, well, it was a fabulous good. start. So um, it'll just continue to go on. Oh uh, well, people will I, find out you're there, and they'll go back to get and get some more of your art. Uh, right? <laughs> well, it's uh, it's good that I'm not depending on uh, on any income or anything like that. Uh, that's always a concern for an artist. You know, we have to live too, but. Uh, I'm at the stage of being retired, so uh, <laughs> so that's the privilege is you do what you want and uh, not have to worry too much about what comes of it. So you had uh, a, a good uh, show at uh, Sorensen's, and mm -hmm. are you still there? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm still at uh, Sorensen's Gallery and uh, be there every art hop first Thursday of the month uh, mm -hmm. from 5 to 8. and. Uh, it's uh, just a, a nice place. Uh, a lot of other artists there, and uh, it's very. Uh, uh, it's a good move. <laughs> good move to join them. Well, uh, what I'm excited about is that you have chosen a, a subject for your art that nobody else thought about, or they didn't do much uh, about it. But tell people what you do uh, on um, the uh, local art. Well, it's um, I. Always uh, have the feeling when I not only when I I'm painting but also writing and uh, doing music is um, I was pulling from my own life and I've lived most of my life here in Fresno wow. and uh, I'm the kind of person that uh, takes walks all the time I, I used to walk to and from work or take my bicycle and uh, the uh, scenery uh, the valley. Uh, Fresno, particularly even the Tower District, is very, uh, very much a part of me. So um, I can share that with my landscape paintings now. And I, I brought some here. I'd like to talk about. Oh if yes, we, yes. We got the opportunity. Oh, Michael. Um, that one uh, right there that I see on the monitor right now is one that uh, it's down to Van Ness, and um, it's. Um, when I grew up, it was known as Russ Clemens Gas Station, but oh. it since um, it since changed uh, ownership, but uh, it's still functioning as, as a gas station, and um, uh, most people are recognized it as one of the older type of gas stations that have since disappeared. I know it's really oh gosh, it looks like it's history, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I I really enjoyed. Uh, you know, making it come alive on the canvas. Well, it's, good. We'll see some more of your stuff um, here. This one right here was one of my very first attempts at uh, a full landscape, and I, I, I must confess I wasn't spending uh, as much time as I do now then. I probably mm -hmm. only uh, put about five hours worth of work in that, but that was a very familiar uh, site for me, which was the Olympic Tavern, which later wow. became Club Fred. <laughs> and it's been uh, sitting empty for about the last four years. Oh but I gosh. think they're going to open it up again uh, with the people from Full Circle Brewery uh, running it. Oh, but, good. Um, this one here, I, I gave it to my friend Steve Carter, and we had many adventures there over the years. And uh, it just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and you can see it, it was a beginning effort. I didn't even bother whether the lines are straight or anything oh, like that but uh, don't talk it down it's neat uh, have, have, had fun doing it <laughs> yes um, and then um see if we can go to the the next one on there i appreciate that that's a more recent piece right there that's that right across like a from photograph of the, of the you're so well good. uh i'm i'm i got to appreciate putting more detail My and um, putting a lot more effort into them and Whereas the other one was about 
six hours worth of work. This one mm-hmm. here was probably a couple of weeks of working two, three oh hours a day. Oh, my gosh. It's just unbelievable. And um, trying to, to conjure up the details mm-hmm. and, um, um, you know, just look real deeply. Uh, I work from a photograph, and oh, on uh-huh. my computer I probably have thousands of photographs of places around town like this. And that particular building has a, a large history where it was, when I was in high school, that was called Dipper Dan's. And then it changed hands a lot. It was uh-huh. even a studio for an um, artist I had at, um, uh, when I went to Fresno State back in the 70s, a man named uh, Terry Allen, uh, who's from Lubbock, Texas, mm. and was a big influence on me, both as artist and musician. And uh, more recently, it was a uh, um, thrift store uh, run by a, a friend of mine named Dennis. Oh. And, um, and it's been cup of joy, uh, I think, for <laughs> about the last uh, few years, uh, yeah, which great. is what I uh, painted right it's, there. It's amazing. <laughs> it really is. What's so wonderful about uh, it is that people can go and look at your art and say, oh, I know where uh, that is. Oh, uh, I that's, live next door to that and stuff uh, like that. You um, know? <laughs> that it's, it's helped in a few sales. Uh, <laughs> that next one there, that, that one there is a, a bakery um, not too far from there. The cor- In fact, this is uh, right around the corner from where we are right now. Oh, wow. Um, uh, the, it was, for many years, it was Locke's Bakery. And um, you can see in the background Second Space Theater. And, oh, my gosh. Um, a lot of those places. Yeah, I've, um, been there. I've been in the shows there. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, the challenge uh, on these is to, to get everything uh, kind of balanced out. And mm-hmm. I've... Uh, I use a lot of white, and I've uh, ended up buying a lot of different brushes and, and trying different ways to um, make it come alive. And yeah. some people have commented that um, it, it almost seems like um, it's the way a person sees it if their eyes are dilated from um, huh. um, uh, open wide, and you see a little bit more uh, more glare than you normally would. Mm. But, um, Oh, because you uh, like white. <laughs> um, this one here is uh, kind of atypical here. This is a, a building that has a lot of meaning for me. It's actually a empty building across from Radcliffe Stadium right now, but it, it once was the Straw Hat Pizza that's right across <laughs> the street from Radcliffe, and I worked there. It was my first uh, full-time job oh or, <laughs> for about four years, even after I graduated from college. I wow. couldn't get a better job with my art degree, so I still worked <laughs> there about another few months. Wow. And, uh, but um, later they sold out to Pizza Hut, and it was there until it wasn't turning enough profit for Pizza Hut. And mm-hmm. it's been just an empty uh, eyesore for probably wow. the last year. Uh, um, six, seven years, I believe. I, I, it's hard to remember, but the um, and I don't usually do uh, is... social commentary, but right. you can see that it's become a homeless camp uh, camp out uh, in a way, and uh, it's just uh, left there to rot. Um, and it's unfortunate that so much of that area, which was uh, thriving when I was in college, which was almost like the center of town mm-hmm. on a Saturday night. Uh, is now um, just empty. Even the the corner of Clinton and Blackstone is nothing but a huge empty lot right now. Wow. What's yeah. amazing about that, though, is so you can see the shadows uh, so beautifully in the. Oh, top. well, I appreciate it. I, I work yeah, on my work on bringing these things alive the best I can. Do you have any more? Uh, um, yeah, there's more there. Oh. This one here um, is kind of a strange choice uh, for a subject. It's the emergency uh, entrance for community hospital. Mm. And um, a, a lot of people uh, have stories, you know, that they, they uh, come forth with uh, when they see it. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, I guess it's, it's changed. Uh, there used to be a different entrance uh, um, back when I uh, went there a few times <laughs> over the years. But uh, unfortunately, that's where a lot of people end up going when they have health problems to yeah. that emergency uh, entrance right there. But it's a very interesting building. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, is, that, is that it? Uh, no, no, I have more. Oh, uh, keep them coming. <laughs> uh, this one right here is um, actually, you go down uh, Van Ness, not too far from here. And before you, um, I guess where Wishan goes into Fulton, uh, there's a turnaround. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the old days when I used to play music at the Wild Blue Yonder, uh, this was the turn <laughs> you always made before you went home. Uh, and uh, I, I thought it looked like an interesting subject. And it is, it is. I love the curve uh, and that. Uh, yeah, and it, there's no challenge like trying to paint a street or a sidewalk. You know, just the, the subtleties, and uh, sometimes I'll spend uh, just hours upon hours doing nothing but sidewalks and uh, oh my gosh. Uh, an almost dry brush. Uh, oh, look at there's this. one of my um, my wow. favorites there. That's City College, uh, the uh, the library. Wow! And uh, I yeah, I spent a lot of time on that there. Oh, uh, I would imagine so. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of good memories going there. Uh, This one here, uh, going up Blackstone, if you've been in Fresno for a while, you notice this. um, It's uh, probably, I think it's north, uh, around where Walmart is. I think Mm. it's between Ashland and uh, Shaw. Mm. But I was always struck by that sign there of paradise and and then the (laughs) liquor. And, uh, um, you know, I've I've gone there over the years for... um, (laughs) You know various things, uh, including uh, including alcohol. Uh, the few times <laughs> I drink. Well, yeah, liquor. And, uh, and this one here is um, is not far from here. Also, this is just in front of the chicken pie shop, and uh, this one had an interesting cloud pattern. Uh, I love that was the part cloud. of it. So, uh, yeah. I, I work some on that, and it's just using what's. Uh, Amazing. What's handy and... Uh, uh, perfect. The cars and everything are just yeah. perfect. Gosh almighty. Yeah. Oh, and this one right here. Um, I This is not so close right here. In fact, this is um, near the corner of uh, Belmont and Chestnut. And uh, I work as a substitute teacher, and, and I had jobs over there um, in that area several times that have had me coming back. And... Um, I noticed that uh, the the very uh, big image of Frida Kahlo and Diego, uh, mm. but also the graffiti nearby, and it it just seemed like a a, a real found um, a real found um, point of interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I I took a picture of that, and oh. uh, this is one of my more recent ones here. This is the good old uh, Warner's Theater. And uh, I spent an awful lot of time on this one because it was um, just the, all the mm. um, subtleties of the architecture. And um, it, it was quite a challenge because um, there's a lot of details there. And as a painter, you have to decide um, what do I go into detail on? What do I just suggest? Right. And um, so much memory involved in this, clear back to being a child and, and going to the big, uh, when, when, well, when I was a child, the big thing was Cinerama. And they had the three screens, and then they'd have the man come up with the bald head that played the, the, the uh, organ. And, and then as a teenager, uh, they had a series of concerts there that would go to. Um, I remember seeing the Kinks and uh, a lot of uh, Mott the Hoople and, and groups like that. <laughs> and uh, and it, still, it still thrives. Uh, uh, over the years, I've had uh, occasion to go by there on Saturday nights um, 10 years ago, and, and um, people were lined up for something. I don't know if it was a DJ or, or something going on there. Is that the but, one that's uh, uh, right close to us now? Or is um, that another theater? Uh, you might be thinking of the Tower Theater, yeah, but this the is Tower. the Warner's Theater. Warner's. And, I've never uh, seen Warner's. And it, uh, when I posted this on my Facebook, uh, I, uh, a lot of people um, made me aware that there was a lot uh, more history to it, that it mm-hmm. goes back to the uh, uh, early 50s, that even Bill Haley and the Comets played oh, there. Gosh. and uh, there had been a, a few other name changes uh, before it, it became the Warner's Theater. And, uh, and I remember in the 70s, it was um, 
bought by the, the Caglias, who oh. own it now. Well, let's see. And um, this is the, the last of my uh, original completed ones. This is not too far from here, um, just down Olive Street. Wow. And um, I, I like the, uh, the mural right there on the yes, side of it. Yes. And the gift shop, it probably got that sign right out front right now. <laughs> and... Um, and just the challenge was making the whole scene uh, fit together what with all the other uh, elements of the picture and uh, the oh. smoke shop in the background and uh, you know the area that is the review and, uh, and this is an area I still um, walk through daily so it's uh, no separation between my life and my art. You know, it's just, <laughs> That's what's so wonderful. Yeah. It's so wonderful to see somebody that loves their place or their living enough to do something like this. That's that's very uh, oh, uh, that's very hard to find. I'm, I think. <laughs> uh, well, it's uh, uh, I, I I've thought of moving ooh, over the ooh, years, ooh, but um, this. oh, this is uh, back to um, one of my earliest ones. Actually, that's uh, myself with my wife Rosemary, oh. and um, that was when I was doing mostly. Um, uh, this was probably about ten years ago, and oh I wasn't gosh. painting regularly then, uh, but I was uh, very much influenced by um, the impressionists, and. Uh, I did this from a photograph from behind Bethel Christian Center, mm -hmm. uh, which we, you know, I've attended since uh, the late 90s. And uh, this one here is uh, not as realistic. This was not, um, and I was uh, using um, watercolor brushes, mm -hmm. and, and they're very clumsy. And um, but um, it's one of my favorites uh, of the older ones. It still oh, yeah. has a well, prominent place. The two of you together that in, makes in the it studio, wonderful. yeah, quite a height difference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. um, this one here is goes back uh, to about that time, a little after. This was my uh, grandparents. Uh, oh my God, uh, Lincoln and Deb Spencer, and uh, in fact, his um, he grew up on that house in Van Ness that I did a painting of. And um, they were the ones, uh, my dad was an only child, so we were the only grandkids, uh, myself and sister and brother. And mm. uh, they were the spoilers, you know, they were, <laughs> if we like something. In fact, they, they, they got me the first guitar. And oh. um, I remember mentioning when I was um, probably about 13 that I was interested in painting, and they mm -hmm. got me a set of oil paints. But... Um, that that was too hard to work with, uh, oil painting, <laughs> oh, yeah. and I I I tried and uh, ruined some of my clothes with oil paints. And, uh, <laughs> you gotta wear an apron. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah, and uh, and ended up with canvases I didn't like that much, but uh, uh, acrylic much easier to work with and. Uh, well, you know, yeah, uh, I've been impressed, impressed with your art since the uh, first time you came. Uh, and I just want to tell people, go to Art Hop at uh, Sorensen's every first Thursday. Uh, it? First Thursday. First from, Thursday of uh, the month. And you get to see this stuff. And if it's something you really fall for, he's, he's, he's not charging $20,000 for them. So you can go down and buy yourself some, right? Oh, oh I, I, in fact, <laughs> I, I think of money. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I might be guilty of underpricing uh, them. I'm but sure I'm, you do. A lot of these pieces I'm paying myself about $4 an hour when I... Um, <laughs> but um, Nobody thinks of that, I, you know? <laughs> I, I just like them to have a home where uh, somebody values yes. uh, it, the image enough to put it up on a wall and it doesn't end up uh, in my garage, which is uh, <laughs> where a lot of them have been. And, okay, uh, I'm so uh, glad you uh, came uh, in uh, again, David, uh, and please come in again and get some new uh, things done because it's just amazing what you do. Oh, 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 I thank you very much. Okay, uh, now go, uh, and go and see him at, at uh, Sorensen's, okay? I'll see you next uh, time. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. We'll be right back.